A critical question in the West today is, can freedom survive where virtue isn't able to flourish? Hi, I'm John Stone Street, and welcome to this week's Two Minute Warning. We've been talking about the concept of virtue. For the last several weeks, Chuck has been talking about what's classically known as the cardinal virtues. Now we're going to make a transition and talk about the theological virtues. Now, the big difference between the cardinal virtues and the theological virtues is the difference between horizontal and vertical. The cardinal virtues are primarily understood to be horizontal, to be lived out in our relationship with others. The theological virtues are to be lived out primarily vertically in our relationship with God. And so it's fitting that we start with the virtue that orients us the most, and that, of course, is this idea of faith. Well, so the Bible tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, what does that really mean? Well, faith has to do with that in which we trust, that in which we depend. And all of us trust and depend on something. None of us are total automatons, completely independent. So we, we trust. And so the question of faith is, in what do we trust? What is the object of our trust? On what do we depend when our life is on the line? And the answer to that question is faith. Now, in the Bible, faith is used in two different ways. There's, there's faith in which we believe and the faith by which we believe. The faith that there is a God, the faith that the world has purpose and meaning because it was created by God, this has a kind of intellectual content. And we shouldn't diminish that because this is the substance, the reality of that in which we hope. And yet there is another and deeper and more personal understanding of faith. Faith is that in which we ourselves trust and believe, on which we depend. And so it has both an intellectual and a very personal, you could almost say existential meaning. And we have to keep both of these in balance when we think about faith in the Bible and in the Christian life. And this is why this one is so important, because one of the lies we hear in our culture is that you can just look inside and believe whatever you want to believe. But what, what many people have realized, and it's true, is that our ability to live out the cardinal virtues are dependent fundamentally on whether we're actually rightly oriented vertically with the theological virtues. I mean, think about it this way. It's one of the worst things, as Chuck uh, used to say, that you could tell someone is let your conscience be your guide. Because if your conscience is fragmented, if your conscience is fractured, you're going to go off into all different directions. This is why a compass works, not because it tells you which way to go, but because it always points to something fixed outside of yourself by which you can locate yourself. And that's the point of faith, is that if we have this fixed reference point outside of ourselves, then we can locate who we are and we can navigate our way uh, through the world as we try to live out these other virtues. And of course the 20th century is the evidence of what happens when we lose that orientation point, both as individuals and the narcissism that we've talked about. But then if you also look at the history of the 20th century, you could call it the history of utopian fantasies. And of course the idea was at the end of the, 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 the 1800s, there was this idea that God is dead and that we can move on through purely secular forms of government, secular social engineering projects like eugenics and so on. And it led to the 20th century being the bloodiest century in human history. I believe God is calling us as a culture and us as individuals uh, to trust in Him. That's the message of faith, to put your hope in Jesus Christ and the God of creation there is no other way to bring order and stability and peace in our world today. Well, and one of the things I think is worth mentioning here as we close is that faith in God is not just faith in a God on our terms. It's a faith in the God as He reveals Himself to be. We can't make God in our image. We have to recognize that He is from which we get our uh, uh, essence and our being and our very existence. And we have to orient ourselves around Him, not reorient God's nature around us. Thanks for joining us this week on the Two Minute Warning. And of course you and I know that politics is nothing but an expression of culture. So where are we as a church to be concerned? We're to be terribly concerned with bringing Christian truth to bear in all of culture, again something Lewis talked about repeatedly, so that 
uh, we can govern ourselves so that there is a sense of virtue among the people so that we can behave responsibly.